Okay guys, welcome back to the Forensic Detailing Channel. I'm here at the Wax is Dead studio and today we are tinting the rear lights on my uh, 996-4S, C4S. So Martin, talk us through what we're doing. Very simple really. Um, we're gonna use the hex light, which is a, basically a tinted clear PPF. Um, it will give the rear lights a really nice factory looking tint, like smoked. Um, and I know why you want to do this because there's a guy on Instagram who's done it and it looks yeah. unreal. It does look good. It's a real it? subtle but smart touch. So what I've done, uh, uh, this one's one we've done earlier but we'll, we'll get around to that in a minute. The reason I've put this green tape everywhere is just in case um, when we're pulling around the, the film it doesn't cause any damage to the paint. Not that it would. But you never know, you've got a bit of dodgy paint and it pulls the paint off, well, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the other light in a minute. So what we'll do is we'll clay bar it first, then we'll clean it with our IPA, wipe it all down and we'll, we'll get taping up around here and then we'll get the film warmed up and manipulated and we'll pull it around and you can have a little film of it. Woohoo! Woo so the next bit we we'll use is 3M cutting tape. This means we don't have to put a scalpel anywhere near the car. This will cut the film extremely neat. Um, to a perfect finish. And all I'm gonna do is follow the black swage line, butt that up there. So you cut by going underneath the film and yep. cutting away from the car with the wire, yep. rather than cutting from the top down with a scalpel, which sometimes you have to do. Of course you do, but when you, when you don't have to, it's best not to. So yeah. what we've done here is we've got a perfect line. The film will go over there. Once we've laid that on, we'll show you how this works. You pull it through and it, it cuts through it. It's, it's clever stuff, really. Okay. So it turns out that this new Hex's film is actually air release. So we don't need any of the water or IPA solution. We'll uh, give it a go and see what the finish is like, eh? You've got a normal squeegee. Yeah. So just keep it nice and taut. Stick that to there. Stick that to there. Stick that to there. So if this is air release, air release technology, this will be great. Because that will save waiting for it to dry. Right, and it might do this bit now, around there. This is Mike Morris. Mikey Fresh. Mm -hmm. A little bit of heat. Mike loves making three letter herbal infused hot drinks. No, I don't. <laughs> Look when you stitch me up. Tea. <laughs> right, I'm getting too bulk now. I need to leave it alone. Let him do it. So it goes on pretty easy, doesn't it? What? Yeah, it's really flexible because what, what Hexes have managed to do is they've actually managed to use their PPF technology in this film. And normally PPF, you need to apply wet, but they've managed to make this airflow, which is incredible, really. So it's a full cast film. So being cast means it will go round nice contours. And when you heat it, it yeah. kind of... It forgets what, what a cast will do is now, once this has been heated, it will lose its memory, so it won't try and shrink back, and that's the beauty of this product. And the gloss is off the Richter scale. Yeah, it does look nice. It's really nice. It's a bit more. That's a skill off my skin. Oh, it's still well. Right. Yeah, that looks lovely. That's going to look really, really, really good. So the only bit we need to use a scalpel on, but we don't actually use it on the paint, what we'll end up doing is we'll, we'll go in here with the blade at an angle so it doesn't touch anything, and then it will basically be a perfect edge cut and we'll go all the way around to there and then the cutting tape will take this bit off so there's no cutting on the plastic. Brilliant. Well, oh, this is Mikey doing the cut. Yeah, this is, this is the... So what they call the money shot, maybe. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? It's the money yeah. shot. In a detailing context. Well, however you want to do it. Well, 
You're going to do a porno context. <laughs> Car porno context, John. Car porno. But yeah, I mean, that's now achieved a perfect, perfect line look. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? So you don't get any of those kind of jagged edges. No, in... no cutting on anything either. I think what you might want to do is do a little clip going across there and show people. Yeah, yeah, the before and after. I've got a nice before shot. Surgeon, mate. You have a particular set of skills built up over a long career that make people like me a nightmare for people like you. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Sorry, you've called the wrong number. I'm <laughs> taking over here, isn't That's a great film. I love that movie. I and mean, then what I'm going to do is just go around. A little bit of gentle heat. Check it with my fingers. Let's give it a clean off. Just to seal the edge. Does look nice, actually. This does look nice. If I tried to do this at home, though. I'd end up ballsing it up. Well, you did try wrapping your bonnet in carbon once upon a time, and I saw the state of that. And you were very jealous, weren't you? Um, be honest. Yeah, right, yes. I think I remember that. I, I tried, it was vinyl, and I tried to thinking. use, I filled the underneath up with soap. And I, <laughs> it was like, I remember that. Yeah, it's one it thing looked you good never on, do with vinyl. Look good on camera, though, guys. That's, that's the most important thing. I didn't show all the bubbles and the uh, bits around the edges where it started lifting up. <laughs> yeah, don't. I mean, it does look simple, but these guys know what they're doing. So if you don't know what you're doing and things go wrong, you just, you're probably just wasting you your money. You have to take every precaution as well just to make sure that the paint is protected. Yeah. There you go. So you can come round here and straight away you can see the... Yeah, look at that. It's just a bit darker, which is what I want. So it takes your eyes off that brightness a little bit. So, we'll, uh, once we've done the other side, we'll um, That's Woohoo! Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Mm. <laughs> And what product is this mine? This is Hexis and it's Hexalite and it's it's an extremely really I mean that brilliant that airflow working amazingly. Yeah. Fantastic product. So that makes it less mess as well when you're doing it. Yeah, no water, which is great because most of the other films out there they, they have water um to you know you need water to apply it. and the gloss level isn't as high, so they look a bit milky where this is about as you know gloss as you're gonna get. Yeah. And the good thing is it's easy to remove as well. Yeah. So it goes on the side where it comes off. A little bit of heat and, you know, it's added protection though. Yeah. Yeah, and it's going to stop the elements getting at it as well. So yeah, if you ever wet sanded down your headlights and then you're forever re-lacquering them every, every couple of years, you could wet sand them down and put film on it instead. 100%, we, we, we do that, you know, quite often on headlights for cars. We put the clear PPF on, and once we put the clear PPF on, it protects them, it stops condensation as well. We've yeah. done it on a lot of newer cars, and the 997 Porsche suffers from this on the rear lights, yeah. and the 997 lights are very expensive. So we've actually made a real custom template where the seal basically gets, um, yeah, repaired with PPF, and it stops any moisture again, so, yeah, yeah. you know. Saves, saves the um, the 997 owner a lot of money. Here we go again. It's the car porn money shot. 
Yeah, that tape is good stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's brilliant, to be honest with you. You just can't go wrong. What's that guy called in the 18 with the like uh, gold chains? He doesn't like getting on planes, Not Mr. Him, is it? Mr. He's more like Murdoch. Murdoch. <laughs> <laughs> Murdoch's clever, mate. I'm getting on no plane. It's the team. Two figures. <laughs> Don't worry, mate. You're going to get it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna come up with a master plan. It can, whatever you come up with cannot be as good as me setting you up for one hour of going through every car, starting no, from A all the way through to S, and then asking what comes next in the alphabet. But I was driving. And as soon as he said it, he knew. He knew you've been tangled. I'm driving, mate. It's concentrating. Caught me off guard. <laughs> there we go. Doesn't take much to catch you off guard, though, does it? No, not really. <laughs> so that's wicked. There you go. Nice little shout out to Lynn at Hexis there. Yep, thank you for that, Lynn. I'm sure John's happy as well. Yeah, very happy. Yeah, it just takes your eye off the whiteness. So there's less of a contrast, so you see the red more. Yeah, well, we get it outside, you can. Yeah, it's nice. yeah. It looks so good. And it darkens off. There's a lot of light on it at the moment. So it will darken off when it's out in daylight and like dusk and all that sort of stuff. Give me the key, we'll get it outside. Let's do it. Let's do it. Give me the key, I'll drive. Hasta la vista, baby. So this is what it looks like in daylight, guys, which is exactly what I wanted. So it takes, look at that. Look, amazing. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Ruining. This is a serious moment. Sorry, I forget this is a look, professional look, look video. Look at the look. I know, looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. But what's so good, if you come to the light, it yeah, looks the battery. Yeah, it does, yeah. It doesn't look like there's film on that. Yeah, which is what you want. Yeah, that's so good. So this is gonna, I'll be able to take some really, the car just looks better from a rear shot already. Like it's with that. that red bit, isn't it now? Yeah, it just takes your eyes off the whiteness of those lights, which, you know, it just looks better. That's really cool. So, there you go guys, that is a video on how to tint your rear lights properly with a good finish so it doesn't look like you've actually tinted them. Look, look at that line, I can actually still see the original black plastic and then just like a perfect line above them. So that's the name of the game. There we go. Take care, thank you very much Martin, that is no awesome. Problem, no problem. And um, if you want to get your rear tints done who do they contact fresh layers fresh layers, yeah. fresh layers if they're, all, they're based down in the south we're in uh, bognor regis or chichester so if you're in that area and you too want to do that then uh, i'll put the fresh layers information in the uh, description take care bye for now